So when you start up BetAngel, you'll find we have profiles here for screen layout and for settings. And these profiles are replicated up here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to create and manage those profiles. Stay right here to watch the rest of this video, or click over here to get hold of a free trial of BetAngel, or click over here and subscribe to get instant access to new videos as they're released. Thank you for watching the video. So when you start up BetAngel, um, you would log on as normal, but down here you have profiles. When you first use BetAngel, it just says factory default. But once you have started using BetAngel, you can create profiles for either settings, the screen layout, or both, which will cover a whole range of different things. So you can see here, I've got a load of different profiles here for the screen layout. And I've got a whole chunk of them as well for my individual settings. And you can combine uh, one or the other. So you can see I've got ladder horse racing, I can use my default settings for that, or if I want to do a football layout, you can see I've got a football layout as well. And the idea behind this is that when you start up BetAngel, or when you're actually using it, with a couple of clicks of your mouse, you can actually change what the screen looks like and how the software responds to your commands. So if you're doing high intensity, uh, short term trading on racing, you're going to want a different setup from if you're doing um, a tennis trade or a football trade and that's what the profiles are used for. So if we start at the basics, when you first use the software there will be nothing in the profile and when you do the logon it will go to a factory default layout which is basically all of the standard settings and immediately from there you want to change things. So when you use the factory default layout if we try and click on something uh, what it will do is it will come up and it will say do you want to place this bet and it will tell you exactly what you're doing. Now if you do know what you're doing that is extremely annoying but we put it there as a safety measure to stop you from doing something unintended. So we're going to say no to that at the moment but if we wanted to create a setting that allowed that to stop occurring we would basically go in and modify the settings. This particular setting is under behavior and you can see there it says confirm bets so if we untick confirm bets what we can actually do is we can save that as a setting. So we can call this, I'm going to do it A1 so it appears at the top of the list, A1 my default settings. And then can you see it appears in the drop-down box up here. So when I click now the confirm bets will no longer be in there. What I'm actually going to do is set the odds display to reverse and click over here. There you can go, you see the bet just went straight in and uh, we didn't have to ask for it to confirm it. So that's how you would do your your base setting basically. As you modify elements of the screen, you modify the stakes, you modify the way the screen looks, you modify all or some of these behaviors and features within the product, that's where you would create your default settings from. And then as you progress and use the software more and more, what you do is you modify those settings for specific sports or specific trading styles. And that's what you do with the, with the settings uh, options there, with the settings profile. Now, if we wanted to, um, we could actually start uh, messing around with the screen here. So we could actually bring up a chart. You can see that's a rather immense and huge chart. So we'll just shrink that down to one size and we'll pin it to the top there. We'll bring up another chart and we'll put that underneath it. And you can start modifying the behavior of the screen. So if we use the column chooser, for example, um, you know, there may be columns that we want to introduce or not introduce into there. We could add columns, delete columns, and so on and so forth. We could change the way we could sort it by name rather than uh, by the current back price or whatever. You can modify all of those behaviors. Or what you could actually do is you could actually go to the ladder screen, for example, here. Undock the ladder screen. Pull that over to here. Put the one-click screen in front of it not forgetting to pin it, which you can see I'm just about to do on here. Um, so we've got several, I'm not saying that you would do this, we're obviously doing this for demonstration purposes, but you can modify the way the display looks so that you actually have um, a different sort of layout for something. And then what we can actually do is we can go to the layout settings and actually modify um, how we describe that particular screen. So I'm going to go to save screen layout as, we're going to call that a1 my screen layout 
and then you can see that that appears in there. So what, what we've actually done is all of the, the way we've set up the screen here um, is saved in that particular layout. So if I go back to default here, you'll see that it actually returns to what we were like before. And if we go up here and we click on A1 My Screen Layout, then you can see everything magically reappears. Um, and you know, I've done, I haven't done anything special on this particular um, setting, but you'd probably want to put up charts, you'd want to put up specialist tools, um, other information, maybe multiple screens, uh, maybe Guardian. Um, you could modify exactly how the screen looks. Uh, you could undock it, uh, move it into a certain part of the screen. You could do all of these sort of things. But the idea is that you make it custom configurable so that whatever screen you want to do, whatever your trading style, you'll find a layout that suits that style and makes it feel and look a way that you expect and that you get used to over a period of time. And then when you start up BetAngel on the next occasion, you can get it to go straight into that screen. Or if you're in the middle of doing something, then you can actually select the layout from the drop-down menu. Um, or you can modify the settings from the drop-down menu at a flash as well. So if you want to use a different staking system, um, or however you want to do it, different um, settings in the uh, global settings, or you want to change the behavior of the staking on the ladder, which you've got down here, um, or you want to do the manual, you want an extra screen up uh, with charts in it from the micro charts on the manual bet screen. There are so many things you can do, but basically that's the way that you modify and bring up the different layouts. If you're interested in learning more about BetAngel, its tools and the opportunities they present, then why not visit BetAngel.com today and download a free trial.